Have you ever nahimo ang mga roads? Like what it is like di ay sa una nga nung nakahuna-huna ang mga tao na there is a need for a road or a gianan. Here we can see a simple diagram sa history of roads starting from ancient roads up to what we have now, the modern roads. We are going to individually discuss all of this. So ancient roads, the first roads were paths made by animals and later adapted by humans and it progressed over time. Before, in ancient times, there were different modes of transportation. And the first is transportation by foot. By foot, these pathways would have been developed for species purposes leading to campsites, food, streams, and even for drinking water, and etc. And in short, to go to one place and to the other. And followed by that, the next major mode of transport was the use of animals for transporting both men and materials. Since, since these loaded animals required more horizontal and vertical clearances than the walking man, chalkways emerged. So after sa transportation transportation using animals kay ang um, invention of wheels um, led to the development of animals being used for transportation drawn the invention of wheels then because of that it became necessary na ang agianan or road surface should be capable to carry greater loads thus roads with harder surfaces emerge So early roads, early roads with hard surface were found in the land of Mesopotamia. Traces of such hard roads were obtained from various ancient civilization dated as old as 3500 BC. The earliest authentic record of road was found from Assyrian Empire constructed about 1900 BC. And aside from those three reasons I've mentioned previously, there are two primary reasons why early road systems were constructed. First is for the movement of armies in their conquest and for defense against invasion. And the second is for transport of food and trade, trade of goods between neighboring towns and cities. Roman roads. The Romans who discovered cement expanded their vast empire through extensive road networks, radiating in many directions from the capital city of Rome. And... Many of the roads built by the Romans still exist even after 2,000 years. The photo below is the Appian Way, was built by Romans in 312 BC, extended over a length of up about 580 kilometers. Characteristically, Roman roads were laid on three courses, a layer of small broken stones, followed by a layer of small stones mixed with mortar and then compacted firmly, and the third will be wearing course of massive stone blocks properly set and bedded with cement mortar. French roads or the Trisigate Road. Um, the next major development in the road construction occurred during the regime of Napoleon. During the 17th century, under the reign of Napoleon the Great, France made a great stride on road buildings. Jerome Trisigate, the famous French engineer, introduced new methods of construction and maintenance of stone roads. Jerome Trisigate also improved the crown, the drainage, and the grade of the road, including the stone foundation by reducing the depth of broken stones to 25 centimeters. He developed a cheaper method of construction than the locally unsuccessful revival of Roman practice. Also, he made it possible for Napoleon to build the massive highways of France. He then was accredited the title Father of Modern Road Building. Telford Construction. The next development was done by Scottish engineer Thomas Telford. 30 years later, Thomas Telford is a Scottish engineer born in Westminster Abbey. And si Thomas Telford introduced siya of some improvements in method of construction ni Jerome Trisigate. In Telford construction, the foundation was prepared for a road with width of 9 meters and it was leveled. Large side stones of width equal to 40 millimeters and depth of 170 to 220 millimeters were then laid. After filling the spaces between foundation stones, two layers of stones have compacted thickness of 150 millimeters respectively in the center of 5.4 meters of width. And the top layer of road was made of 40 millimeter thick binding layer of gravel.
The next thing we have after Telford construction was the British roads or the McAdam roads. England followed the ongoing highway development started by France, all thanks to the Scottish engineer John Lauden McAdam, introduced what can be considered as the first scientific road construction method. And the McAdam Road concept named after him was developed and widely accepted. The McAdam Road has an important element, element on stone size. So 250 millimeter layers of well-compacted broken angular stone would provide the same strength and stiffness and a better running surface than an expensive pavement found on large stone. That is according to the McAdam Road concept. So here we can see the Tresigate, Telford, and the McAdam Road with illustrations showing their differences. For the Tresigate Road, ang kabagaon sa gravel or broken stone kay one inch layer, which was also the same with the two roads, that of Telford and the McAdam. And below the gravel or broken stones kay another layer of broken stones but much bigger in size siya. And here, ga differ silang tulo sa thickness. Ang Tresigate kay two inch layer ang 2-inch layer, and ang Telford kay 7-inch, while ang McAdam kay 8-inch. In Tresigate and Telford, napasilay third layer called the foundation layer, which is 8 sa Tresigate and 7-inch sa Telford. On the, on the other hand, sa McAdam Roads, um, it is built only with two layers, ditching the third layer na naa sa previous two roads. So then we made it to the modern roads. The modern roads, by and large, follow McAdams' construction method, the use of bituminous concrete and the cement. And in the construction and development of modern roads, various advanced and cost-effective construction technologies are used. It can't be denied na the development of new equipment help in the faster construction of today's roads. Like many as easily and locally available materials are tested in the laboratories and then implemented on roads for making economical and durable pavements, which we enjoyed or use today. Okay, so before we move on guys with the next topic, did you know that buses are actually underrated? Actually, wala po na ko ni siya na, na cross sa akong mind before. Pero while the research ko about sa trivia, nabasa na ko ni and somehow the explanation made sense to me. Because buses are often larger in size than our go-to jeepneys. Gakafil na to na gadugang-dugang na yun mga bus sa pollution o ka-traffic sa itong kadalanan, no? But buses can actually help lessen the traffic when utilized properly. Buses can carry the same number of passengers like that of 30 cars. The size of the bus can occupy three cars when it comes to road space. Imagine how light the traffic will be when we replace 30 cars with just a single bus. Also, mas makasave ka og money by riding a transit kaysa sa imong personal car, labaw na karo nagamahal na ang gasoline. So don't ever underestimate transit buses. So... So, para sa inyo guys, um, for me, Jod, I can see why buses are underrated. So, moving on. We made it to the early laws that regulates roadway. One of the early laws that regulates roadway was the early Saxon laws, which imposes three mandatory duties for people to perform. First is to repair the roads and bridges. Second is to repair the castles and the garrisons. And third is to aid repel invasions. After the Norman conquest of England, it was decreed that the king's highway is sacred. Anybody who occupies any portion thereof by exceeding the boundaries of his land is considered to have encroached on the king himself. Roads are for public use. All persons who want to use them may do so. And second is the property owners adjoining the roads were required to drain the road, clip any bordering hedges, and refrain from plowing and planting trees, scrubs, or bushes closer than the specified distance from the center road. Since the road is intended for the benefit of the people, atua, in return, in return it becomes their duty to protect and maintain the roadway. So we... We're moving on to the highways in the Philippines. 
Um, in the early part of 1900s, transportation in the Philippines depended largely on trails, waterways, railroad, earth roads, and partially gravel graveled roads. Sa una daw, taman na sa damgo sa mga Filipinos ang, maka, ang magka-highway, but not until the American government. The American government initiated the development of roads in the Philippines connecting towns and cities and provinces. Na introduced, na introduced po here ang Macadam Road type and was accepted tungod sa kabunda sa supply sa stones and gravel during that time. After the Second World War, the newly independent Philippine government continued the her rehabilitation and construction of roads and bridges through the reparations and war damages paid by the Japanese government. And then 50 years later, a major highways and expressways were constructed. Vehicles of various types and sizes started flooding the roadways. And and the traffic problems were out of control to the point that the solution to traffic problems is nowhere in sight and expected to worsen year after year. Which is, gaka experience gapo na to karno, like gabi gapo ang traffic sa ato ang nasod. And the next is that 1960 to early part of 1980 was considered an automobile age. Cars were no longer regarded as a luxury item but as a necessity in transporting people and goods. Government's new concept of development is to get the farmers out of the mud and it was during this time or decade that road construction becomes a matter of priority of the governments under the slogan, this nation is on the wheels. So next is for the planning difficulties. Development and maintenance of roads and highways is a continuing process alongside with the technological advancement. New equipment and management techniques revolutionize the construction and maintenance methods. So what, what is highway planning, you may ask? Highway planning involves the estimation of current and future traffic volumes on a road network. The highway planning is also a, be a basic need for the highway development. Highway engineers strive to predict and analyze all the possible civil impacts of highways and systems. And unfortunately, highway planners are confronted with problems categorized as follows, financial and political and technical difficulties. For financial difficulties, highway development plans can be put on hold due to major issues with appropriating cash for road construction and maintenance. The COPOD og role ang present economic condition when it comes to budgeting expenditures. And sometimes it can be a reason why maglisod ang mga highway planners to proceed with the project, maong usahay ma put on hold siya due to lack of funds. Moving on, um, Moving on, on political factors can lead to postponement, modification, or realignment of the roads and, and highways plans. And implementations are hampered or prevented by conflict, conflicting legislations resulting in a delay or no action at all. Politicians now control DPWH projects as their source of political funds. Rational, rational planning becomes a political decision. And for technical difficulties in connection to po political problems, the appropriate standard for construction of roads and highways is not followed. As a consequence, public confidence tremendously eroded, not only in the government's ability to abate these problems, but also in the proficiency of the technical men to offer solution. These are all sad truth, you know, kay no share pod na po kay ang um, nag immersion me before sa DPWH sa Bulwa and isa ni sa mga na discuss nila sa amo how ang mga tao lain up panan sa DPWH kay tungod sa mga ongoing or nahuman na projects na ni flop ni flop siya tungod kay mostly probably ani sa mga given reasons So before we um uh, um we reach the end of the first four topics no and before mag report sunod sa ako si Jamaica gusto ko mag asa inyo and we really, we really encourage you guys to participate and we appreciate it kung mag participate mo sa amo ang um uh, questions and upcoming questions pa and so the question is what is the name of the road in the picture 
This is um, a picture taken by Project Lupad and kanis isa ni siya sa mga ongoing construction dani sa CDO. Mas sinay gusto mag-answer sa inyo guys or guess lang. Ah, sige, si um si Zacarias. Uh, coastal road sa kanal sa Lapasan. Sige at um i an any an answer or kuan parias ra ba mo kam prince? Yes. Sige, let's see kung mao ba yun. Um, yes, you're right. Um, this is called the CDO Coastal Road. And thank you guys. Oh, mao to, mao to siya. And I am pretty sure be scarce. And I'm giving the honor to my groupmate Jamaica to share with you the next topics. Thank you. So hello everyone, I am Jom. So the topic that I'll be discussing are highway programming, the planner, community involvement, and the highway economy. First is the highway programming. So procedure that involves deciding which improvement projects to prioritize and when to start them. Those that are most economically viable were selected if they fit into the financial capability and of course political criteria so ang highway programming mao ni sila ang magdesisyon kung unsa nga project ilang unahon and also kung kanus an nila sugdan then challenge sa ila is unsa on nila pag budget ang ila ang fund sa ila ang certain nga project so paki next ko shell There are three inseparable sets of inputs involved in the highway programming. They are the economic, which deals with the, uh, with the questions of resources, and the financial deals the questions of who pays and who spends, how much and where. And also the political and administration, this involves um, decision making. So, Paki, next question. So, mauni siya ang mga pamaagi sa highway programming. First is the financial resources are either short or long-range implementation by the agency's functions like um, construction, operations, and maintenance. Second is the recognition of legislative and administrative desire and constraint. Third is the tentative priorities uh, based on economic analysis, critical situations, present and future expected level of traffic and claims based on political subdivisions. And fourth is providing continuity of the, uh, of the route system and coordination with other transportation modes. Next shadow. Fifth, selection of projects based on availability of labor and materials, including climatic conditions. Sixth is the scheduling the project implementation in coordination with other agencies, acquiring right of way and making final plan and specifications. Seven is the budgetary reserve to cover emergencies like floods and other natural disasters. Okay, next question. So the direct effects of highway construction and its use. So sa quantifiable market value, muna siya ang sa cost sa highway and sa benefit po sa highway user. Sa cost sa highway, kay planning and the right of way appropriations, construction, maintenance, and operating. Then sa kaning ang makabenefit po sa mga user sa highway is ang vehicles operating cost, including a uh, Congestion, uh, congestion cost, net income or decrease in cost of vehicle operation per year, travel saving time commercial, net increase or decrease in travel time multiplied by the peso of commercial time, um, motorist safety, economic cost accident, net change in expected number of accidents times the average cost per accident per year. Okay, next question. So, ang, direct, ay, ang second nga direct effect sa highway kay kanin non-quantifiable, non-market value. Mo ni sila ang kanin makabenefit po 
sa highway user ang motorist safety, accidents cost of pain, suffering, and depri deprivation, comfort and conversion, kanin discomfort, inconvenience, and strain of driving, then static from driving viewpoint, benefit of pleasing views and scenery from road. And then last is ang quantifiable non-market value. Travel saving time and commercial minutes saved per vehicle trip. Shell, okay, next. Okay, thank you. So, Kanisha, next, next topic is the planner. So, any project must go through detailed research with the involvement of many line agencies before becoming a reality. So, the planner appoints coordinators or catalysts to work out in exchanging information regarding the needs, goals, and alternative solutions of those who are affected and to incorporate them into the planning and decision-making where proposals may be opposed or questioned by other agencies or in the uh, political meal. So, ang gabuhatan sa planner is before pa ma-approve ila ang project, need, I need pa nila mo undergo o study. And and then, kaning, sila rapod ang kaning nitong mag-question sa ila ang kaning plan before na siya ma-approve. So, pakinaks po, Shelly. act as coordinators or to work as community advocates should not be either partisan or advocate to a particular solution. So their role is to provide organizational and technical support and goals of affected persons, groups, or So the planners, uh, the planners role must be a of a clarifier, editors, conciliators, and impartial negotiators. The myth of um, rationality must be avoided because they might believe that as professionals, they are uniquely super qualified to judge what is best for the society in their field of expertise and competence. They must accept that their personal values and goals are different from other participants. So, okay, next question. The functions of the planners are to prepare a preliminary design scope of study and then initial work program, know the basic needs, plan, and objectives of affected persons. Second function sa planner kay exploration of alternatives, data gathering by contacting the rep representatives of other agencies involved, and detailed analysis prepare detailed plan for appropriate community interaction. And last, secure formal um, ratification from the local officials and have the results documented if nothing goes wrong this step is considered final so good ethics demand that planners should understand that their role is to provide knowledge and unbiased information to be partisan and emotionally involved will only jeopardize their credibility this might give them the feeling of personal defeat or disillusionment with their profession if the solutions that they offered are only thrown into the trash can. Okay, next question. Okay. So, next topic is the community involvement. In a democratic government, the public has the right to hear and be heard. Much more to participate in public hearing where planning and decision-making will be conducted before major decisions are made. About people and communities being able to participate fully in decision-making, such as local um, decision-making and thus influence decisions which affect, affect their lives. Okay, next, Toshel. So, public hearing should involve the public from the start of the planning to give them a chance to participate in the discussions and involve them in a public hearing, solicit the cooperation and support of the public officials, non-government organizations, create special staff to carry out the function, 
community leadership, to opportunity to participate continuously in the planning stage and organize and develop skilled persons. So proceed to Shell. So last topic nga kong i-discuss karon is about sa highway economy. A country who will not avail of loans or grant from foreign financing institutions will not feel the great impact of their infrastructure project if domestic income through taxes alone will be depended on. There are many designs and administrative decisions that does not involve public policy, but this should be made by selecting the alternative that is cheapest in the long run, meaning the result from an economic um, study that is reasonably interpreted must prevail. So, paka next question. The intent of expenditures for highways and public transportations are enumerated as follows to augment the country's level of economy, to provide easy access to the working place, to facilitate public services, police, fire protection, etc. To facilitate medical care, schooling, and delivery of related services, benefit to motor uh, vehicle users through lower cost of operations and maintenance, ben uh, benefit in time saving, less road accidents, to give maximum comfort and ease of travel, and to give landowner benefits to transpo and increase property assessment. Most of the country's expenditures for highways and public transport facilities are based on the principle of pay as you go, meaning road appropriations and expenditures depend on tax collections. Next, Shell. So arguments uh, of those who favors borrowings are the need is immediate to have instant infrastructures. No impact project will be seen because the pay-as-you-go fund is scattered throughout the entire road system where the situation is most critical. Third is borrowings encourage investors because of past progress. So on counter arguments of those against uh, financing infrastructures through borrowing like borrowing may, I may impair the credit rating of government agencies of obstructing other more important improvements. If future income is committed to pay past improvements, no more funds available to maintain the existing system. With much amount available temptation, is there to overbuild and recklessly spend extravagantly. And interest of the loan is a big waste of public funds. Next shell. So did you know the Philippines gets its financial resources for road developments from a foreign bank? Because borrowing from foreign banks is the ultimate solution of the government to deliver impact infrastructure projects to boost the economy and move quickly forward. And that's all. Um, can you continue na lang the report? After the report na ako magkua o attendance. Thank you. So, good evening everyone. I am Hannah Gracia Brenica and I am going to report the topics 1.9 to 1.12. So, let's start from 1.9 which is computation and survey. Early engineering approach to highway and transportation problems were based on the results of their computations with the aid of slide rule and replaced by calculator machine. So ang slide rule is a mechanical analog computer which is used primarily for multiplication and division sa sa una nga panahon. So ang slide rule is also no, known as a slide ruler. So as is, ang yang itsura is like an ordinary ruler. But for you to be able to get the computation or the answer, kailangan nimo siya i-slide nga ipang match nimo ang, ang mga numbers then mag-add po gan, mag-divide sa iya ang numerical exponents para makuha nimo ang answer. Pero kani siya nga method is very time-consuming and was totally discarded in the advent of computers and its appurtenances. So today, 
With the advances of technologies, most of the agencies have their own data processing and reporting is done through computer networks. Engineering approach to highway and transportation problems are done through computer output from the simple to complex matters. So kung sa una, magmano-mano compute sa data and takes longer time plus prone to computational error, Para makuha ang answer karon as you input sa computer, dali na ang diritsura and accurate pa yun ang iyaang results. So, next please. Computers can do processing data for many problems like first, projections and statistical studies of traffic and transit passengers. Second, economic analysis. Third, financial programming, followed by geometric, grid just, Six, pavement design and maintenance. Seven, pavement management. Eight, scheduling for design and construction. And lastly, computation of earthworks and other quantities, both for planning and payment of contractors. So stereo plotters are built into computers and can be used to create maps and pinpoint location. So a stereo plotter uses stereo photographs to determine elevation since it talks about maps. So interactive computer graphics that are focused on management decision-making data and technical issues could present problems on the screen. So why do you think it presents problem on the screen? It is because interactive computer graphics is higher in quality and has precise results and perhaps too heavy shot towards real-time graphics like shadows, reflections, illumination, and etc. There are many different computer programs that can be used to solve the same old transportation and roadway issues. So the computer graphics display a motorist view of the highway so that the engineer could make appropriate treatment of certain portion as transition from cut to fields, road, location, traffic, and transportation planning and accident analysis. So next, please. With the aid of sophisticated computers and its appurtenances, engineering practice today is not as difficult as the, as the time of slide rule era. Computers are less prone to computational error if correctly programmed. Kaya unlike before sa slide rule era, it is very prone to computational error. It is because limited ang iyang number of scales just like an ordinary ruler plus difficulty in locating the figures. But on the other hand, too much reliance on this machine might be a trap for the uninformed to assume that their program inputs are absolutely correct. Kay once mag-input ka data sa computer, one lang a single nga number nga sayup, so it is expected nga sayup na na siya ang whole nga answer. Kay kita mangyud sometimes we tend to be dependent to think na kaya buhaton sa computer tanan. That's why ka fail ta to double check using our own knowledge. Pero of course. We can't hide the fact that computers are very useful at, to us engineering students. So deeper analysis and professional attention to computer program is the key to accurate results that could be the basis for good decisions. So kailangan ta mag practice and practice para ma to use the computer correctly for us ka ma, ma master na to ang pag program to get the accurate results. So next please. So 1.10, remote sensing. So what is remote sensing? It is the process of detecting and monitoring the physical characteristics of an area by measuring its reflected and emitted radiation at a distance. So typically from satellite or aircraft. Special cameras collect remotely sensed images which help researchers sense things about the earth. So next, please. So there, there are four popular examples of passive remote sensors, which includes first, charge couple devices. So a charge couple device or CCD is a light sensitive integrated circuit that captures images by converting protons to electrons. A CCD sensor, sensor, a CCD sensor breaks the image elements into pixels. Each pex, pixel is converted into an electrical charge 
whose intensity is related to the intensity of light captured by the pixel. Ang grids nga gikuntin sa CCD of pixels are used sa digital cameras, optical scanners, video cameras, as light sensing devices. So the second one is film photography. So there are various types of films that are used in cameras for remote sensing. So film can record the electromagnetic energy reflected from objects in the form of optical density in an emotion placed on a film base of polyester. So ang film, naturally line lain nga klase which is a black and white, infrared film, color film, and etc. The third one is infrared. Infrared remote sensing makes use of infrared sensors to detect infrared radiation emitted from the Earth's surface. And the last one is the radiometer. It is a device used to measure in the, the intensity of radiant energy. A majority of radiometers use only single photocell. So active sensors use internal stimuli to collect data. In, emitting energy in order to scan objects and areas whereupon a sensor measures the energy reflected from the target. So next please. Remote sensing is otherwise called photogrammetry. It is the science and art of, of obtaining measurements by means of photography. Photogrammetry is based on aerial photographs for engineers working data on first locations, planning, geometric design, right of way, traffic studies, drainage, soil classifications and identifications, earthwork measurements, material location, and pavement condition survey. Next, please. So, photogrammetry. Photogrammetric mapping. Photogrammet photogrammetric mapping is a vertical aerial photograph taken by a camera pointed almost straight downward is the most useful mapping for the highway purposes. The area to be covered is photographed in parallel runs with the individual pictures lapped in the direction of the flight or end lap and between successive runs or side lap side lap. A photogrammetry is a technique that uses photographs for map making and surveying. Next, please. There are four instruments used in converting data from aerial photographs into maps. The first, the first one is the Kelsch and Baltic's stereoscopic plotters. So, the Kelsch and Bopplick stereoscopic plotters uses stereo photographs to determine elevations. It has been the primary method to plot contour lines on topographic maps since the 1930s. Although the specific devices have advanced technologi technolo technologically, they are all based on the apparent change in position of a feature in two stereo photographs. The second one is the wild autograph or the stereo autograph. It is a complex optomechanical measurement instrument for the elevation of analog or digital photograms. It is based on the stereoscopy effect by using two aerophotos or two photograms of the topography or of buildings from different standpoints. The third one is the current PG2. It is described as the new stereo plotter that gives a detailed explanation of the photogrammetric principles involved. And the last one is the Zeiss stereoplanigraph. It is a stereoscopic plotting instrument which semi-automatically semi -automatically produce topographic maps from overlapping pairs of aerial photographs. This instrument can be used for spatial triangulation with a strip of overlapping photographs. Next, please. So features that cannot be identified on the photographs are located by the ground measurements. Any important points to be included on the ground surveys are marked for easy identification on the photograph. Like for example, discovering the certain distances, angles, and points to classify the land or maps or even help to define land ownership and borders. 
accuracy of the ground control triangulation network is when scaled with the aerial photographs. So on triangulation is defined as the process of determining the location of a point. The third order triangulation is acceptable in rural areas and the second order triangulation for urban locations wherein the maximum errors in distance are 1 to 5,000 and 1 to 10,000 respectively. So an accurate angular triangulation measurement is easily obtained by the use of modern theodolites. So kaning diagram on na siya, modern theodolites. It consists of a movable, movable telescope mounted within two perpendicular axes, which is the horizontal and the vertical axis. And the distance measurement is carried out by an electronic distance measuring device or EDM that employ infrared light beams, microwave, or laser light. Next, please. The photogrammetric technique coupled with digitizer produces digital terrain models. The horizontal and vertical positions of the ground surface and other photographic features are directly transferred from the much aerial photograph to a computer data bank. So the information is recalled and the computer is programmed to develop showing the following. One, profiles. Second, cross-sections. Third, cut and fill earthwork quantities and the motorist view of the road. So with photo photographs and computer record data, a separate map could be plotted easily like the highways, the drainage, housing, land use and zoning, and property assessment. Oh, next, please. Did you know that Amy Lossidat was the first person to use terrestrial photographs for topographic map compilation as to he was, he was referred to as the father of photogrammetry, but it was not until 50 years later that the technique was successfully employed. So after 50 years pa nag, nag successful and na use ang iya ang ang iya ang kuan. So next na. So the last topic is orthophotographs. An, orth ang, an ortho photograph is an aerial photograph that has been geometrically corrected or ortho rectified such that the scale of the photograph is uniform and utilized in the same manner as a map. An ortho photograph can be used to measure true distances of features within the photograph. So when you say geomet geometrically connect corrected, it is the process of digitally manipulating image data such that the image's projection precisely matches a specific projection surface or shape. So, kumbaga, what you see is what you get na kay precise kayo ang orthophotograph. So, next please. Orthophotographs is an aerial photograph corrected for scale and tilt. When the center portion are skillfully matched and copied, they appear to be a single photo photograph that shows far more detail than maps. The uncorrected or partially corrected photographs are combined to form a mosaic considered better for engineering accuracy and right-of-way purposes. So, thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Nicole Arborlado, and I will be reporting topics from 113 to 116. So, colored photographs or aerial colored photography presents a more detailed and precise information on traffic and parking studies. The photography of terrain from the air for the purpose of reproducing the terrain's landscapes or individual features in their natural colors. The information, content of aerial photographs, and the possibility of interpreting such photographs are enhanced because the color difference in the terrain are captured on colored aerial photographs. So as you can see, in the pictures, color photographs gives clear information of the geolog geological conditions, the land use, source of materials, surfaces, and subsurface drainage. 
So, makita gid nato using aerial photography kung asa dapit na yung mga vegetation, water sources, o mga lived-in nga mga species like houses o densely populated cities. Besides sad ana, makita sad nimo ang mga roads. Mura bitaw kagatan o bitaw sa isa ka map. O kita man siguro danita na nakakita or nakagamit naman siguro ta og mga Google Maps dare no. So using satellite images makita nato dali ang tong mga neighborhoods nato with just the click of our fingers sa ato lang mga phones kung gusto ho nato. Basically makita nato diha through aerial photograph images. Next slide please. So kanisad ang oblique photogra photography is used for special studies, particularly where the ground condition is almost flat or where the cliffs are so steep that a black and white photograph could not give sufficient details. It is a type of aerial photography in which the camera axis is deliberately kept, kept tilted from the vertical by a specified angle. The photographs thus they can reveal details masked in some ways in vertigo, vertical photographs. So as you can see in the image sa right, the camera is tilted at an angle. So, the difference between aerial and oblique is that kung aerial, kung tanawin ni mo siya from above, flat surface imong makita, but still distinguishable iyang mga terrains. While sa oblique, mura siya three-dimensional, di ba, kay na siya that. Okay, again, tilted man siya ang iyang camera angle. So, next slide, please. So, location of the proposed highway. So, early roads started from trails kay tungod sa mga movement sa mga tao o people. And kung mag-pustag highways, natay mga considerations na dapat na meet. So, to improve the highways, there should be... Um, excuse me, Mr. Akal, pwede pakimute. So, to improve the highways, there should be tentative as to the control and minimum design speed, roadway, cross-section, and maximum slope with the following consideration. So first, reliable cost estimate. Second, character and hourly distribution of traffic. Third, economic and community benefit factor. And fourth is availability of funds. Kung makadungog tag traffic, guys, what comes to mind sa inyo? Ha? Kung makadungog mag traffic, like anything, saman inyong mo muto nga sa inyong huna huna like anyone like pwede ko ninyo humor like naba mo yung idea sure pa stress yeah stressful siya kay tungod kay ang traffic kay what dugay oh dugay di ba so basically traffic is just kana bitong vehicles moving on roads and highways. So, natay light traffic, na yung mga heavy traffics. And, importante ni siya nga, kanabitong kung mag-propose tag highways, importante na makabalot kung kani ba siya nga area, heavy ba ni siya nga traffic diha, or light ba ni siya nga traffic dani nga lugar ha. Kaya, kung mag-design kag highways po, very helpful ni siya. O, makatabang po ni siya, o pagbuat, o kanabitong mga re reliable cost estimate na to. Kaya, kabalot taong sa itong mga loads na dapat i-consider. And of course, economic and community benefit factor importante gid sad ni siya kay kung first off, e econom economic kay resources are very limited. And ang community nato kay mo man ang community ang maka-benefit sa tong highways. So kaning location surveys, kaning mga location surveys nato sa tong mga rural areas divided ni siya into four stages. So yung first stages kay mo siyang gitawag nga reconnaissance survey of the entire area between terminal points. Second is reconnaissance survey of all feasible routes. Third is preliminary survey of the best route. Best best route. And fourth is location surveys taking of the right of way, the highway, and structure for construction. So kung um, maingon tag ka ng reconnaissance survey, ang um, ang benefit or good aning performing a reconnaissance survey is that it allows us to choose the productive parts and the unfeasible parts. So next slide, please. So sa so first stage natay mga kuan mo ni siya ang uh, ibali what is in what is kanang compose sa tong first stage which is ang reconnaissance survey of the entire area between terminal points. So the first phase in any highway location study is the examination of all available data of the area in which the road is to be constructed. 
So, kani siya nga mga data, maobtain ni mo siya from existing engineering reports, mga maps, aerial photographs, and charts, which are usually available at one or more of the state's departments of tran transportation, agriculture, agriculture, geology, hydrology, and mining. So, from this nga mga data ni mo mong na nga obtain, ma makuan ni ang location sa mga feasible routes ni mo. So, kibali ang first stage sa ato ang location survey is more on data gathering siya. And next slide, please. And sumpay ni siya sa atong first stage. So, the type and amount of data collected and examined depend on the type of highway being considered. But in general, data should be obtained on the following characteristics of the area. In First is engineering, including topography, geology, climate, and traffic volumes. Second, social and demographic, including land use, zoning patterns. Third is environmental, including types of wildlife, location of recreational, historical, and archaeological sites, and the possible effects of air, noise, and water pollution. Fourth, fourth is economic, including unit cost for construction and the trend of agricultural commercial and industrial activities. Next slide, please. So, sa second stage sa itong location, location nga survey is koan, the object of this phase of the study is to identify several feasible routes, each within a band of limited width of a few hundred meters. So, di ba sa first stage is more on gathering data, so kung asay mo mga feasible routes. So, sa second Koan, sa second stage, kay imuang object ani is kanang nanakay mga feasible routes. So, mga alternative routes ni mo kibali. So, kanin mga feasible routes din ni mo are identified by stereoscopic examination of the aerial photographs, taking into consideration factors such as the terrain and soil conditions, the serviceability of route to industrial and population areas, crossing of other transportation facilities such as rivers, railroads, and other highways. So, and lastly, the directness of route. So, next slide, please. So, the third stage is the preliminary survey of the best route. So, during this phase of the study, the position of the feasible routes are set as closely as possible by establishing all the control points and determining preliminary vertical and horizontal alignment for each. So, preliminary alignments are used to evaluate the economic and environmental feasibility of the alternative routes. So, di ba, sa, sa first stage is mga pag nag-data gathered, second stage is mga routes ni mo, mga alternative routes. Based sa mong data nga nag ang third is na nakay mga alternative routes. So, brag i-evaluate to gar ni mo sila kibali para maka-choose ka kung sagid ang the best route. So, next slide please. So, ang last stage is, sa location survey na to is taking of the right of way, the highway and structure for construction. So, staking the right of way and the highway and structures for construction. So, the final location survey is that detailed layout of the selected route during which time the final horizontal and vertical alignments are determined and the final position of structures and drainage channels are also determined. So, sa final nga... Sa final location survey, muna ni siya nga ka na, na kay best route o niya dahil yun. na siyang buhatan o detailed layout sa imuhang best route nga napili. So, next slide please. Location of bridges. So, highways and bridges have but one purpose, di ba? It is to convey traffic. So, lately, however, kanin general policy for minor roads is and is to determine the proper highway location, then provide the structures. But cost is not always the determining factor in design. The cost of a bridge and its full approach combined with the crossing site should be determined. Bridge survey report should be accompanied with accurate data on the waterway and the historical behavior of the water. The bridge survey data shall include the foundation conditions, stream characteristics, and adjacent structures on the stream, more particularly their waterway opening. So when the location of the bridge is approximately determined, the following requirements must be considered. So 
a complete data report and special survey of the site. So, mag-prepare din kag sketches and full-scale map and profiles. And survey report must contain accurate data of the waterway for all behavior of water. And then, there must be a complete report on the foundation condition and the stream characteristics. A complete data of the adjacent structures, particularly the waterway opening. And if possible, skewed bridge should be avoided. So, what's the name skewed bridge? So, if a bridge is not oriented perpendicularly to the flow of lines, like pareha sa inyong nakita sa to image, kanang kani siya nga bridge, tawag ani kay skewed bridge. Onya, comparatively, mas expensive ni siya kaysa sa atong right-angled na bridge. So, next slide, please. So, mag na, kanan natay ka ng simple rin siya, guys. Ay, pwede rin mo mag-chat sa inyo um, chat box, ane. So, which among the three is a strip bridge? Like, pwede rin ninyo siya i-kuan sa chat box. Um, excuse me. Um, can you, ano lang, take note kung kinsa to'y nag, ano, nag, um, first nag-answer sa imuhang question. Pati itong kaganina, no, kay, um, gonna add sa points sa ilahang quiz. So, i-take note na lang, ha? Thank you so much. Thank you. Sige, so, ang first nga nakakuan kay, be, si, si Gaid. So, okay, guide to siya nga points. <laughs> so, next slide, please. So, sakto, no? Ang B, ang skewed bridge. So, kanin A, kay mo straight bridge. B, is skewed bridge. Da yun, C, kaya tong curved bridge. So, next slide. Kanin. Na-mention ko ni siya ganina. So, why is it that if possible, skew bridge should be avoided? Kanang, raise hands lang mo guys kay kanang i-take note na ako kinsay o na maka-raise of hands. Go. Kinsay gusto mo answer? Sige, Garcia. Ang naka na difficulties in design of expensive. Okay, next slide please. Sana ito kung sakto ba si Garcia. Yay! Sakto siya. <laughs> Tama to siya, no? So, difficult siya sa design. O, oh, expensive po din siya. So, thank you, Miss Garcia. Next slide, please. So, highway plans and specification. So, plans and specifications are set of documents of instructions and conditions under which highways and bridges are built. So, the complete detailed scheme for the road which are incorporated in, in the geometric designs are first, traffic, second, the drainage, third is the erosion control, fourth, roadside development, fifth is the structure, six soils, seven is the pavement. So, presentation of a road plan. So, kanang sa, kanang bitaw sa plan, no? Kanang upper right sheet, muna siya ang kung bitong allocated diha sa tong plano sa topmost view. Kay mga horizontal alignment, mga right of way take, takings o drain, drainage arrangement and other features. So, kana din sa lower half, allotted na siya sa mga profile where, where the original elevation of the ground surface is plotted. The roadway center line and the vertical alignment of grade line for the road is indicated. So, sa vertical scale of the profile is usually exaggeratedly enlarged from 5, five to 10 times for precise detail. So, the profile and other details of the drainage channels or connecting roads including ramps are also presented. So, next slide please. So, the, est so the estimated earthwork quantities for every 50 meter station or other intervals are indicated along the bot bottom of each sheet along with the estimated overhead. This will serve the engineer and the contractor. And the roadway cross-section for every situation in the whole project stretch is indicated on another sheet of the plan. So another sheet of drawing showing all structures and roadways appurtenances is included. So the standard size at on drawing sheet is 55 centimeter by 90 centimeter. So next slide, please. So 
So, not na yung mga kuan kailangan i-include sa to ma- sa tong standard drawings no so muna siya mga partial list of objects covered by the standard drawing so muna siya uh, included ang pipe culverts as you can see in the image mga guardrail and parapet na to sidewalks and concrete box culverts curb and gutter next slide please Mga manholes na to, mga riprap and other devices you use for bank protection, fences and right-of-way, drainage inlet and outlet structures of numerous types, and other survey markers. Next slide, please. So, the specifications. So, highway specifications. So, highway specifications is divided into two standard specifications. One is applies to project implemented by administration, which treat the subject that repeatedly occurs in the agency work. So, second is special provisions, covers peculiar item of the project in question that include additional modification to standard specification. So, na kwan pagid niya na tumak pagid niya into two the general clause that deals with the bidding procedures and award execution and control of work and other legal matters o gadil pud niya in specifying details regarding the materials manner of work execution and how pay quantities are to be measured next slide and that will be all thank you Okay, um, nabay, nabay other question ang um, reporter sa inyong audience. Um, naka, um, wala, or ang audience ang may question sa um, reporter. Kung wala, anyone? Eh, kung wala, kay ako ang mag question na. If wala yung clarification, any clarification, or mata pa ba ang tanan, no? Basi na tulog na ang tanan. Magkuhaan sa Lego Day. Mag, mag, sani, magkuhaan sa attendance. Mag, inog, paano, mag, present ba siya or absent? Kaya basi na tulog na inyong mga classmate. Um, next, ano, next reporter, you should, ano lang gapon mga, prepare mo up, uh, same sa hindi prepare ka rin mga icebreaker na mga question, at least makaparticipate niyo mga classmates, or ma-check pa ba ninyo kung mata pa ba sila or gilig, no, kay gabi na gabi na itong class. So, first, mag-check sa attendance, then, before, basit ba, kao na na, mag-question sa reporter, or si reporter, na-question sa, ano, sa ilang audience. Uh, Mag-wasa ko attendance, then, after that, if wala, o if wala, umawag pa mga sa reporter, ako ang mga na sa reporter o mga mga tanas ko sa audience. So, first, si ano? CE3, eh, CE3 mo, no? Um, Abranica? Present, ma'am. Present. Okay. Si Akal? Present, ma'am. Si Arapon? Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Arco? Present, ma'am. Bakonga? Uh, present, ma'am. Balid? Balid? Murag na ato siya ganiha, ma'am. Mag-uro to kami. Present? Ma'am, ano present pa. Okay. Beltran? Present, ma'am. Okay. Bukayong? Present, ma'am. Bukayong. Present, ma'am. Borla- Borlado? Present, ma'am. Porter, no? Cabillo? Cabillo, ma'am. Present. Cabillo, okay. Sorry. Kahintong? Present, ma'am. Si Masyo ba? Sakto ko. Si Masyo. Or... Present, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Si Ronay? Or si Ronay ba? Si Ronay ba? Sakto ba? 
Sirone, wala. Adrian? Na, ah. Uh. Okay. Espen Espenosa? Present, ma'am. Esteros? Present, ma'am. Tanyo? Present, ma'am. Tanyo? Present, ma'am. Francisco? Gabak? Present, ma'am. Gaid? Present, ma'am. Galinero? Present, ma'am. Garcia? Present, ma'am. Iba Ibale? Present, ma'am. John Tilia? John Tilia? Tilia, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Okay. Laroga? Present, ma'am. Ligotong? Present, ma'am. Lauren? Present, ma'am. Present. Okay. Madriaga? Present, ma'am. Manook? Present, ma'am. Umpok? Present, ma'am. Park? Present, ma'am. Perihan? Present, ma'am. Reyes? Present, ma'am. Reyes. Simon? Present, ma'am. Tadlas? Ping? Present, ma'am. Tobani, uh, Tobiano? Present, ma'am. Valdiweza? Present po. Okay. Villano? Villano. Ah, Villano. Zacharias? Present mo. Zayas? Asa si Zayas? Wala si Zayas? Okay. Okay, um... Next time, I want you na makamike on mo tayo na para every um, na tay ano uh, activities for um, oral uh, oral participation. Um, gusto ko o a mike on din niyo niyo hang self. So wala ba um, questions si audience kang reporter? Any clarification or curiosity? wala if wala kay mag question ko sa report ay na nagnan so nan so far if wala mag question ko sa reporter kin sa gitu first na report is is it is Keros or yes ma'am so Keros okay Keros um your topic is um the history of roads highway in the Philippines the planning difficulties no tama nga sa planning difficulties so um you talk about um the three um categorization sa um planning difficulties which are the financial the political and the technical so and you said on the report that um the planners now are um uncertain na siya sa iyahang ano no sa iyahang um ginabuhat because one ang isa is si politician kay manglabot no or manglabot siya sa kuan na to kung unsa sa factor sa dili so my question is um give me a scenario na na involve si technical Involving technical, give me an example para mas masabtan o samot sa inyong classmate kung on, kay financial, sabtan na siya, political, sabtan na siya, which is, you said on your report that politician kay ginakontrol si DPWH project, which is partly, partly true. Labi na si uh, mga politician na manglabot sa ilahang mga project. Kasi sila man ang gafan sa project, said. So, give me an example na na involves the technical sa planning difficulties na which is ang isa kay si politician na manghilabot unsay unsay epekto ana 
or si contractor ang sa effect effect ni contractor kung na ay gibuhat si contractor sa ato ang plano um for me ma'am kay ang isa sa mga kanang for example ani kay kanang for example sa regional planning um tungod kay gaka involved na ang politics sa kanang kay mura sila na ang kanang na control sa DPWH projects kay murag kanang ang mga ang wala dili na siya kay siya rely sa kanang objective process gani jud or sa kanang proper training and ex and expertise kay tungod ang politicians ang kanang murag na ay power and murag kuan sila sa source of funds kay murag gaka feel sa kanang um pers uh, pers person in kanang na assign ana kay kanang kailangan niya himuon unsay ingon sa politician or else mohawa siya sa district niya gani so murag isa na siya na gaka gaka disadvantage or gaka compromise ang um objectivity sa kanang process sa kanang with proper training and expertise tungod kay um naay power ang politicians uh, sa pagkuan conduct sa isa ka project so mo siya kung pagsabot ma'am like an example sa ano ana nga situation okay um you talk about expertise on what expertise man sa planner or kung ikaw si designer on what na expertise na ma maapekto maapektuhan ka unsa gyud ang technical gyud or sakto mo gyud na na high point na maapektuhan na natong objective which is you said the expertise sa isa ka planner so unsa nang expertise sa isa ka planner um ang ang sako lang pagkuan lang ma'am is ano kana ang expertise sa isa ka planner nga ma tend niya ang concern gani kung unsa jud ang actual need ana para sa mga people ana nga kuan mga project so um murag ang dili ni ma, dili ya ma, ma kana makuan kayo ang, ang need sa mga sa tao kay kanang gerelay pud siya sa decision sa kuan politician or so murag ingana siya mang okay um na high point sad so um One of example, um, isa gapon sa expertise na sa isa ka planner and also ang isa is ang atong design standards sa atong mga designs because if may nilabot si ano politician so uy um or may nilabot si for example si contractor labot si contractor sa atong kuan sa ato ang designs which is technical gigita technical designs main ano din nato na no main um, topic din na sa ato ang technicalities kaya di ang mga kwa na sa planner isa ang design yun na major na consider din nato consider ang at mga standards mung din may tabo na during the implementation uh, we have a substandard na dahil na mga road structure So, ang is so muna si contractor. Ang isa si politician, mga nabot si politician at ang mong ingon if diha ang project na noon nabutang, kaya gusto niya dito ibutang sa iyang dito sa lain na area, nawala na ang at wala nawala na ang kwadros that area pagyud kay um dili siya ang ay mabut ngan og dalan. Kaya wala kay wala ano dito livelihood or wala kay gapamulit dito lugar for example dari pangkuan and kanin gina quote sa kuan na um, do what i say or get out of my district inana na mga kuan um uh, dili um partly true pero sa sa department of public works and highways um i dili na ako siya gina defend kay taga dp ko but as nag work ko diya sa um dpwh ang buhatan ana is Um, maminaw si taga DP sa um, proposed project ni Congressman Lugar, for example. Minaw siya. Okay, ana, 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 ana. Then, hinakagutan ang kuan kay kuan na rin na eleksyon, ana, ana. Gusto ko dahil ang project ang kuan. Then, nag-proposal area sa pabot ngan. Then, pag-propose niya sa taga Department of Public Works and Highways, so, ang buhatan sa DP da yun, ila pa din na-invalidate if that project is cost-effective that project is viable so dili na basa-basa said na 
ka ng kung unsay giingon ni what eh uh, kadto lang ha unsay ingon ni ano ni um ni ni, ni, ni politician de diretso to manon validate sa good okay um pagkuan sa nasa kowa dili man sa basa-basa kay ang, ang, ang attachment ra basa ko wa kay ang mga designs mga quantities na to sa pagkuan ana na project which is very ano gyud dangerous ay kung wala tay attachment so next question ang question is sige ma'am what if magsupak si designer or planner sa politician di siya ma-proceed sa construction din ma'am um actually um mo dili man totally musuk uh, kanang imo siyang ipa-understand gid na sir if kani gid imo hang ko anon gid sir kanang tumanon inani ang ihang epekto kay politician if imo lang gid siyang if imo lang gid siyang ma-explainan og ayo kung unsay disadvantage or advantage ana sa imong proposal makasabot ra na sila basta ilang project dito silang district Okay, mumang gid na ilang main goal kung asa sila na district dito ang ilang project kay kung lagi kana ano noong kuan nag nagkuan siya project tapos ito ni gipupo sa lain district dili na di sa mutugot but if kuan gali mo ano sila sa kung ang designer gali if ma ma-explain niya og ayo sa isa ka politician sa effect sa iyang gusto na dako kayo og kuan epekto sa community lugar kay ipaagi lugar niya sa inani ni dagan kay maigo na kuan right of way na 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 pasabot ra na siya so iyang paminawon ka which is um dili man sa do do totally na gabi gyud ang mga politician no na dili paminaw sa sa mga designer which is lara ba gid ang habalog gyud kung unsa gi uh, mga standard para sa tong structure kay dili sa taganan na maka maka construct ta og mga mga substandard nato na structure sa sa ato ang district so inana lang buhat inana buhaton wala dili gid totally mo supak but i-explain nimo sa isa ka politician why or why not na bawal siya or pwede iyahang proposal so okay ba Yes, ma'am. Yes, po. Okay. Next is si... Ano? Si... Kisa ito yung second reporter, Gali? Kabilyo, ma'am. Bilyo? Kabilyo. Kabilyo. You talk about... Miss Kabilyo, you talk about highway programming, no? No? Highway programming. You talk about highway programming. So, um, um, you said to the, ano, di ba, sa reporting mo na, um, highway programming is projects are prioritized. So, um, how do you know na that project is urgent or that project is beneficial, uh, beneficial, I mean, or that project is viable or cost effective ba niya na project kung saan imong buhatin first asa si Ms. Cabillo Good evening ma'am Kuan ma'am, ang first year is kaning if fit ba sila sa financial capability ma'am mak kung first nga buhatin if magkaganda kung isa ka project Okay, unsa unsa pa man or um be ano so in general na lang unsa imuhang buhaton gud kana kala siya kay mabilong kung kala siya kay na kay point but na ay general na, na buhaton mo or first step di bali sa planning mo Kato lang imong ma ma inyon Miss Cabillo. 
हेलो आप वीडियो से रिपोर्टर Um, excuse me, pwede ba maka-turn, pwede ba maka-press, maka-turn on o video si reporter para makita sa na ako kung sa sila, sila. So, can you please turn on your video? Okay. Opat na nun o, asang duha. Dala, ang isa. Maka-turn on na ba ang isa? Oh, okay. So, kato uh, Miss Cabillo, kat um na kay point na ano siya, uh, tanawon ang financial ano or unsa man in general bit ang buhaton gid. Ang um, kuan ma'am kani nagtok man taabot sa highway. So, kani mm-hmm. mga dalan ikaw ma'am nga naa sa kani economic like kanang mga i- ibutan na lang nato kani mga say nang merkado like mm-hmm. inana mom wala siya ang mga first nga buhaton and mo po na siya ang mga first project dapat nga ila ang makandak kaysa kana bitang barangay barangay lang mom nga wala wala dira ang kanang mga needs so mo lang na mom okay i get your point so Um, in general, kung general gud inyong ko anon, ang first buhaton gud para maka program tag projects is the feasibility study. You should conduct feasibility study sa to know kung that project is viable ba, pwede ba siya diha ibutang, wala bay um, daghan problema sa mga uh, when it comes to environmental wala bay dagan maigo na mga um, labi na mga ITs no na mga land ilang mga yuta which is dili na tabas-tabas na makaigo sa ilang mga land kay na sa lay own law or mga right of way which is um pinaka problem gyud nato diri sa Pilipinas labi na private property ang maigo sa atong project and also the important if cost effective ba siya katang nung first giingon financial ano kay basing magbutang-butang ta diat is mahal kayo din dili kayo sa tong funds kay every project na ay funds ay na so first good guys para makabalota kung unsay kuan i prioritize sa tanang project you should conduct kuan feasibility study so mo nang buhaton di ba um i, i- relate na to tong kagani na mo 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 ano si congressman lugar o kuan area sa project so pag propose ng area sa project mo conduct kain si taga dt og fs para ihang ma ma justify kang kung kung viable ba ni siya na proposal kung cost effective ba ni siya na proposal if this proposal is daghan ang maka benefit So inana ang dagan sa kuan dili ra siya basta-basta na makuan no na diretso uh, kuan den diretso ipa-funds na nato no FS kagita para masadihan og ayo ang ihang economical financial o kuan sa mga benepisyo sa community so mugi na first buhaton sa planner so next question kay si Uh, Brenica, ba? Ang katolo? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you talk about, ano, um, the computation and survey, the photogrammetric, the remote sensing, um, the, and lastly, the orthophotographs. Okay. Um, um, kita na ba mo, or, nakagamit na ba mong total station? Di ba na said, nakabutang sa inyong kuan mo view the light? Nakagamit na ba? Wala um, pa. Wala pa. Yan nung wala mo kagamit. 
wala may survey. Na, na, may survey. Pero online na lang. Pero, bantog, wala may naka-use ad to. Ah, wala may ipa kayo mo itong sa COVID? Yes, po. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very sayang. Ano, wala mo nakakuan, no? Um, okay, pero, kakit ta na mo o light? Ah, yes, ma'am. Nakabantay na, ma'am. Ah, uh, si... Pero, um, may kagamit mo. Wala okay. pa, ma'am. Chat. Wala pa, ma'am. Wala pa, ma'am. Giyon sa inyo, giyon sa presenting picture sa the light lugar. Giyon sa present picture, di ba? Murag itong picture base dag present siya picture. Ko sana. Picture lang ma'am tapos ang device mo muna lang. No, ana lang do ang use. Kung sa use sa ano sa the light no. Ana man for science tayo wala mo na ka field no. So ani na lang. Based sa inyong na, or based Miss Abrenica sa um, inyong natunan sa surveying, okay. and this topic bang yun is um, related to the surveying. Um, my question is, you said that photogametry gapod is maka, maka produce of profile, cross-sections, may nana, no? Pati yung manggapon si Tio Delight, di ba, maka produce gap on siya of sections of profile. So, which is, ano, mas accurate gamitan or mas syada gamitan for designing? Si the light or si photogrammetric? Or the photogrammetric or the LIDAR data? LIDAR data ang tawa na other term or the DTM, the um, digital terrain models ang tawag ana. So, and why da yun kung kinsay mong mapilian ng duha? So, ito, theodolite o... Paan? Photogrammetric. Photogrammetric. Yes. Na-mention man yun na ni ang theodolite o photogrammetric. So, which is more accurate in terms in designing our highway? In your own opinion na lang. Uh, we know man the uses of theodolite because... I know that your teacher discussed the um, the use of theodolite. No, then today um, you you discuss the use of ano photogrammetry. So um, for for me, ma'am, ang photogrammetric is mas kuan siya sa highway design since ang photogrammetric magigawa siya og shot through aerial nga makita gid niya ang whole nga place nga para ma isadihan og ayo og or ma or ma design og tarong since aerial photograph man gyud siya nang yang direction is straight downward so kay unlike sa theodolite kay mura man kwan siya mag kanang telescope lang siya so og mag focus ka diha diha lang mo ang vision like im, dili gyud nimo makita ang whole gyud nga place nga sa isa ka photograph lang okay so Um, okay, uh, uh, I accept na yung opinion. Basi na ay maka, kuan, maka other opinion sa uban. Basi na ay other opinion ng uban. Yun say maka, ano, other opinion lang. Wala ko na ingaw na it's either sa Yupsha or Dili. Uh, gusto ko makadungog maka sa uban opinion sa audience. So, yun say mag, kuan, mag, ano, or manawag ko. Manawag ko or na yung mag, ano, mag uh, uh, participate or na yung mag... Ano. Kasi question again, ma? Uh, which is more accurate in terms in highway designing? Is the using of the photogrammetry or the DTM or using sa light or the total station? Which is more accurate in terms in, of designing? So, if magkuhan ka, gusto lang ko makakuhan nung huwag sa opinion sa inyong audience kayo para, para ma-check na itong umata pa ba na po na sila kaya basta natulog na ba kay 8.14 ba diya? Then, alas 10 mo muna itong klase, no? Tawag na ito if naninaw, bagay sila sa reporter. So, um, I want to hmm, see, ano, hmm, 
Um, isa na libog na noong umpisa kong tawag ko. <laughs> si Koan. Is, uh, para fair, isa ka babae sa lalaki ang kong tawag ko. Or, um, naibong um, part. Ah, oh, sige. Madriaga. Madriaga. Um, for me, mas accurate ang paggamit sa Godlight since kung photogrammetry man good kay di ba aerial view raman so mat- matabunan siya sa vegetation bitaw ang pag-survey mm-hmm. then kung conventional surveying man good ma'am kay most ay accurate gid siya to measure elevations sa geographic features mura to ma'am okay so mo ang tirod na ko ad is na ay point C, Madriaga, na sa point C, Abrenica. But, ang, nag-specific mo ako sa akong, ano, sa ako ang question, no, which is in terms sa highway designing, ang mas accurate kami ito is si Theodolite. Okay, mo to, ang isa, when you say aerial, what if, kuanda, kahuyan na tanan, or bukid tanan na tong gikuan, what if ang proposal is nandito sa bukid nol, which is talan kay Yuta, ay, we alimin daw Yuta, daghan kahoy. Di ba sa aerial? So, ang makuha na elevation ni aerial is ang top sa kahoy. Dili ang ground. Which masada si total station kay makuha ganya ang ground coordinates na to, Which is the most important sa ato ang cross-section. Kay di harabot ang makuha sa ato ang quantities. Kay pilay ikat, pilay itambak sa ato ang project. Sa every um, 20 meter na station. Sa book, ana siya 50 meters, but kita sa um, standard na to din sa Philippines is 20-20 ta. I think na-discuss ga po na sa inyong surveying na if magkuha ng cross-section, 20-20 atong, atong pagkuha. No? Sakto ba ba si sayo pa kong pagkuhan? Or nakadumdum pa mo sa inyong surveying? 2020 ang atong cross-section, no? Ito doon ga po mo on sa on pagkuhan mo sa cross-section? dito loan ba ang 3E on sa on tag kwan sa perception sa survey or wala na nakadumdum ang 3E wala na siguro mama nakadumdum wala na may kadumdum it's either wala na pa do mom or wala yun guys <laughs> survey ninyo mom sir paday hug ah okay paday hug Sir Padayag. Okay, Mr. Padayag. Okay, Ma'am Zafra. Okay, guy, Ma'am. Okay, kay no? Kailang magbayad na. Charot. Charot lang. Abi na ako magbayad, si Sir. Alam, Ma'am. Alam, Ma'am. Squealing. Tatatura na, Ma'am. Squealing lang ikaw, Ma'am. Ha? Hindi na ako USPP, guys. Ako na na. Ay, dili. Wala na ako na under si Sir Padayag. Pero sa ako mga batchmates, kadungog siya na. But... Sayang kayo kay Nabdan mo COVID kay siya bito magpa-field class kay dito ro ba na sa Iligan o dito sa Pambalay, sa Patag na isod tao na kung andin yung field no. So, inani ako ibalik ang question, mas mas ano si, ano no, the light kay in terms sa ground, mas accurate yung makuha compared to to the photogametry. The photogametry, mas sada sa if Patag, walay structure, walay um, walay mga kahoyan, walay vegetation, nana Patag lang yun siya to, talipatag. Or for presentation, na siya for presentation gapon. If mapresenta kang kong, if mo mga presentation, ay na, nice e present si photogametry. Then, um, si photogametry gapon, makuha na gapon natin na siya sa Google Earth. Pwede ta makakuha og elevation sa Google Earth. Tapos, kanang si, di ba, to say RT, Na, na-discuss ba gapon sa inyo ha, na ang ginagamit na kalon is the GNSS or the RTK, the Real-Time Kinetic Model na um, instrument? Or nag-focus mo sa total station? Total station lang. Total station lang, no? So, Talon guys, ako na lang na po mo inform para puhon, di mo masyak. Uy, nadi, inani na, na, ano, na instrument ito. Ginagamit ito karoon na, kay, kung ano man taga, evolve naman ito, no? Pero, si, para mapaspas daw ang pag-survey, na tayo ginagamit na, ginatawag na ito na RTK. 
I think, base na ubang kadungog ng anang RTK. Kana sa RTK, to po ang ginakwan, ano, no, kuha, dili na ta, di ba, si local station kay mag, mag na pa may telescope, telescope, na pa man kay i-anggol ang goal, na pa kay i-focus. Si RTK, igo ra ka mo tindog, kuhaan lang nagpoint sa tindogan, na lang siya controller da yun. Um, if inyo nang isearch na kung saan pa views, maka, ino, no, na masayun siya gamiton, but nasa disadvantage si RTK. In terms sa bukid na sad ka. Kung saan no, mabalik ka punta ng Total Station. Sa day partner si Total Station of si RTK. Both ang dua. Why? If mag-survey ko sa bukid nun, what ito? So, dagayin kay Kahoy. Nang say RTK, gadepend na siya sa satellite. So, daw be dagayin kay Kahoy yan. Therefore, mawala iyahang signal sa RTK. So, ang in the end, mabalik ka punta sa Total Station para makuha na to ang mga ground elevation na to. Kaya si Total Station, dagan kay siya use, no? Kaya si RTK Limited. RTK, dili, di, um, disod kayo makuhaan na to ang elevation sa bukid. Kaya dili naman ta makasaka. Kaya what if, taas kayong bukid, ba? Disod ka, ikasaka, palugar ni mo yung imuhang, imuhang, ano, ang imong mga taga sir imong mga surveyor or something na sa ka program mo sa pinakataas sa bukid pero makuha lang gid ang ang elevation ana so unang kwanta yun mo use din ka og total station pwede ni mo combine ang dua RTK and total station para makuha ni mo ang highest elevation sa bukid so mas um i think mas sada noon pero kamo uh, uh, unfortunately lang gid na kuan mo sa ano no na kuan mo sa pandemic which is um sayang kaayo gid ang surveying because mo gid ang pinaka major gid pinaka first mo gid abuhaton sa isa ka ano sa isa ka um planner kala mas nice kung kabalo mo surveying gid mas nice if kabalo mo set up sayang no karon na year kay nakita na ko sa other ano kay Nagapon ko yung part-time na mga teacher sa second year. I think second year ba sinin yung surveying, no? Second year na gaano sa, no? Reset up sila, no? Yung saon pag-center si Bubble. Yung sa kung sakto ba niya akong pag-set up. Um, sayang lang, but bawi na lang mo sa work. Walang parahon ka rin na maglumaluma din. Yung tayo na, ay, kabalo mo ko, Ana. Pero di na mag-totally ka mo magamit sa, sa instrumento, no? Kay naman mo instrument man. But advantage good kung kabalo ba mo kay para makabalo sad mo kung sakto sad ang gikuan ni instrument man sa inyohang project. Basta yung takatakat o siya survey di abi. Nawa mo kabalo na sa yun. Dahil ito yung pag-set up ba yun. Wala man ito nakuan. Wala ito nakuha. Wala man ito na center ang baka bulaan dito. Or ano na. So dito mga comment no kung sagi sakto or dili. So I'm encouraging you na kuhon if mag-work ka mo mas nice good na um Uh, magkuan din mo, mag, na may kuan na magtuon sa pag-survey. Kaya na abtan man din mo o ka ng pandemic, wala kay mo na kuan sa field sa surveying which is very mm, bad sa kuan. Kaya comes to sa so work na good. First buhaton sa civil engineer is ang pag-survey. Naman nung tayo judetic but masyada din kung kabalo sa civil para kuan siya kablo siya if sakto ba yan dibuhat or dili anak anak no so for the um last question kang kuan kang um berlado ba to no i think sakto ba ko berlado so um you talk about ano highway plan and specification so my question is um what's the composition gid sa tong road plan ang say sulod sa plano na to, sa road, sa highway. Can you give me um, the parts kung ang say sulod sa tong plan para makabalusad ang um, inyong mga classmates? Um, kung ang sabi tayo sulod dito sa plano, no? First ka, no? Kung ako sa ma-first ko, ito, no? Kaya tag-story na ni Ogko on plan. Ang say sulod sa plano? Kay mag-designing na rabiya ta next topic. So, mag-deduce na si designing kung sa di ako kano himuon de ay say tawag anak kung sa siya kung sa na siya sa asa na siya sa part sa plan 
So, kasi yung mga compos- composition sa road plan na to. Plano gibali? Um, sa kuan mom kay kung magkuan ka sa road plan kay naadi ang mga proposed crossings ni mo, mga revised alignments ni mo, mga kuan kana mga 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 elevations o kanang imuhang imuha mga crossings dayon ang mga kuanda yung mga like sa rivers may nanak bitaw dayon kanang like sa kanang kung mukuan ka like sa specific parts kay kung tanaw ka sa upper like sa upper sheets sugar kay nadia or sa top view kay mga mga alignments mga right of way takings mga drainage arrangement mga unsa pa nang mga features then diyan sa mga sa lower half dayan kay diya din ang mga allotted nga mga profile ng mga original elevation sa mga ground surfaces kana mga plots bitaw bi plots ang mga ground surfaces then kana mga roadway center line and the vertical alignment mga nana then kwan din sa vertical then sa profile kay kana ang mga kwan din mga skills bitaw dayon mong like nana like mga unsa sa mga enlarged nga uh, five to ten times nga mga, mga precise details bitaw dayon mga mga profile and other details dayon like sa drainage tunnels or connecting roads mga mga ramps nga anak bitaw mom kanang dapat makita bitaw to ang kanang like for example asa dapat ang kanang mga like mga manholes mga right of way mga mga kan bitaw mga sidewalks nga anak bitaw and the profile kanang sa pagbuto Mara mara tong Okay. Okay okay ro eh. Okay mo opinion. Okay okay okay. I understand. I understand. Um dito gani. Basta na ay ano, ideas na ng uban. Um mangita tag ideas sa uban para ma, ma um, matapok na ta tong atong mga ideas. Um uh, Miss um, Berlad Berlado or Nicole talk about highway plan. Plano na to. So, plano na to kung output gibalay na to, no? So, unsa ba gid sulod atong plano? Kasi na ay idea ang uban. Anyone? na uh, maka-idea kung isa gisod sa itong plan. Uh, uh, Misty ko lang uh, gata point ah, na hindi mo nag-iingon na niya tanay, pero naging general ano, na tinatawag. Uh, mag, magpahan kong clue upat na siya ka parts di bali sa ato ang kuan plan. Yan katong giingon ni ano, Misty ko kay na na ato each ano dili lang basing gukon kung say general na tawag no but na ay say clue ang book na gihatag so basing na ay kwan or manawag na side ko no para makapakwan gid ang tanan no okay alcohol ano unsa kung kwan di kan say ma ano si park kay ganahan ko say mong kwan kay murag ko ay pang korean Ila, ako lagi. <clears throat> oh, ikaw part. So, sa may kuan, say mo ang own opinion so, or sa own understanding sa report. Kung say mga parts sa ano, sa ano ni? Sa highway plan. Highway plan, so, uh, for me ma'am is first the financial ano financial capability ma'am uh, kanang kuan ila ang iyang budget bitaw ma'am sa isa ka plan second ma'am is the drawing the drawing of ay kuan ay ma'am kuan si tawag na drawing agi prepare ma'am nga gikan sa survey ma'am nga gikan duck for a location third ma'am is ang iyang kuan ma'am mga other mga other purpose ng like sa drainage drainage niya kung siya ang 
kwan nga kana bitong kwan ma'am kana siya maka sulbad maka solve bitaw siya ma'am into into the future problems ma'am and then ito ba Para man siguro ma'am uh, sa yang kwan financial sa prepared nga drawing sa ang pagbuild ang uh, highway then sa third ma'am is katong mga kwan others other nga specific nga maka sa future problems mo. Okay, thank you sa imo hang ano sa imong ideas. Um, last call lang babae kay lalaki man. So, um let's call um Manu of Maria Andrea. Na ba siya? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you ano um, give your ideas kung unsay sulod sa tong highway plan? Uh, for me, ma'am, ang una kay importance ana na plan, ma'am. Like, kung mag-plan ka ato, kay efficient ba siya o safe sa mga traffic operation. Pero, move ay minimum lang ang kwan, cost. Then, second, mga classification sa mga roads. Kwan, ang ihang kwan, kanang traffic volume niya, load transport na mag-agi na, na dalan, then third, yahang road pattern o planning surveys. Dayon, dayon, dayon. Mora mo siguro mo. Okay, thank you so much. Ura giginahan, huwag tawag sa inyo ba? Kay, dagan kayo mga ideas ang ikon. Namiginaw, good. Pangita, tanguban ba? Last two na lang, good. Kaya para na participation ba? Para makuha ng reporter na nagninaw mo silang mga report. Di ba sa'yo mag-report kong ang iyang mga classmates kay natulog. So, we call, ano, Beltran. Beltran? Mm -hmm. Okay, Beltran. Nagkatawa lagi ka. Nagkatawa ka. Natulog ka. Ayun, ano? Ano, wala si Ay. Sige. Give your ideas lang. Um, dili ko magkuhan kung sa for. Dili, basta gusto lang na ako. Kuhan kung sa'yo yung ideas kung kung sa'yo parts. Diba? diba if mag-sideline, tag-structural, na mag parts na ay kuhan na o ikanay siya muna siyang structural analysis. Kasi siya kay inani ni. Uh, diba na may inana? Typical ni siya. Inana ba? So, sa plano sa dalan, kung sa'yo sulod yung bali sa itong plano, or main, kung natin main, di ba, sa itong um, syllabus natin main topic, so si Kwan Sad, si Plano Sad, nasa na siya yung mga main topic sad or main, ano, um, uh, lagi na mga main topic na sulod sa plano. For example lang, ha. So, sa imo ha, Beltran, kung sa'yo, kung ano yung idea ni mo, kung sa'yo, So, o say, parts, parts sa, parts sa, kuan road plan, sa highway plan. Uh, mga, kuan mga, mga reports, sketches, dayon. <laughs> Muna na ito ako, ma'am. <laughs> Muna na ito ako, ma'am. Okay, okay. It's okay. I think, para ba, at basta na mo yung kuan. Then, last la lang yun. Si, babae na sa tanong. Um, let's call um, Kindra. Okay. Um, can you, ano? Uh, okay. Kindra, Kindra, bila ko wala siya yes, ko. Ano? Okay. Sa imo ha, Kindra. Sige, lagi katawa si Kuan. Kindra to, lagi katawa. Ngaan siya ito. Tawagin na, ma'am. Tawagin na, ma'am. May tawag yun na. Sa eksorod kayo, si Kora akong tawag ko. Si, ano, Valdir Nguyen. Si Shin, ma'am. Shin. Shin. Unahan na lang ako si Kwan. Si Kendra. Nalingaw ko ito sa gusiya kasi siya kaya up sa chat, no? Parang hindi siya natulog, day. So, si Kwan, Kendra. Ano sa'yo mga idea about Kwan? Ano sa'yo parts, di ba, like sa road plan? Kwan, ma'am. Base, ha? Kung na-search, ma'am. Parang na-search plan. Then, dad to nakabotang uh, kung unsa ang road project sa tana nga. Ay, tanap itong iyahang tanang sa taas dito, ma'am. Tanang 
ng taas na view sa uh, road. Then, next is nasa yung mga detail about sa kanang siyahang mga methods. Yan na, ma'am. Tapos, nasa yung mga nasa yung mga nasa kabutang siya legend, ma'am. Kanang isa ni siya nga parts. Tapos, um, um, uh, maaaring go, sa, go sa mga ideas ay pagka, uh, pagka, ano, pagka ulaw sa mga, sa mga opinion kay, na has a general note, yes ma'am, na has okay. a general note sa taas ma'am, which is, makabutang in iyahang mga, ang say, survey, iyahang mga, lens ma'am, then, mga hydrology. Nga na, ma'am. Tapos, sa ubot din, ma'am, kinaas ay mga coordinates table, which is patagito yung location sa north, east, and elevation. Mga na sa akong... Nakasearch kag plano, no? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Tagna ko pala din. Nakasearch kag plano, pero... Mm-hmm. Si, lang si, ano, gusto ko ba si Shane... Ano yun? Ito, try lang yun. Basta hindi makakuad ka. Eh, para... Ako na may manguta na, ma'am. <laughs> Ay, ikaw manguta na sa reporter? Or sa ako, ah? Uh, sa imo ako. Ah, sa ako, ah. Uh. So, ako na lang tayo tumagod. Tumagod na lang sa ako, ah. Ikaw, ay, dili, ma'am. Lahit akong question, ma'am. Ay, lahit di, ay. Yes, ma'am. Nga nung ka nang sa dalan bitaw, ma'am, kay bisag dili pag uba, ma'am, kay I-repair sa mga... Okay, yes, ma'am. Unsay purpose, okay. ana nila, ma'am. Purpose, ana. Okay. Nakala sa nag-budget, ana, ma'am, or... Dilo, isa lang. Nasa inyong congressman nga, no? Di agi po po sa project. Char joke lang. Ako, ito ang kwansa. Ako sa i-answer sa inyong kwansa part sa... Then, before, I will answer that question. Kay Kabaloy, ko halos pangutan. O, nalabi na taga DP niyo, no? Kay Pasal... Pa, ipasala daw si DP. Ano mo, no? Ano mo, ginatang-tanga nila, no? So, first, ako sa answer ang question na ako pinakauna. Ang sagi part sa itong plan? Or ang sagi composition ni Bali ba? Amanday mo sa books ni, book ni Farido na, na ay, um, katong yung giyon na, na ay horizontal alignment daw, tapos na ay vertical alignment, nakadungog ko kang, I think, katong kang Berlado, yung ka Nicole, yung giyon dito na, na ay horizontal alignment, na ay um, vertical alignment. Kato siya, katong sa example sa book ni Farido, ang tawag at to, is plan and profile. Unang isa ka part sa ato ang plano. Very important. Why? Because makita na to ang grade sa ato ang dalan. Dili man na pwede na straight na tayo. No. Sabi na day, if na ay bukid na maging ay mga grado na. So, diya ato makita. Diya sa nato makita kung naabay kat kung um, kung maka balo na tagbasa og plano unta base um, sa n ani na semester kay tuloy man ako sa pagbasa sa plano no para para good worth it good ang highway nato na um, after sa inuhang puhod makakuan mo maka maka makabasa sa board or dili mag, magtrabaho at least kabalo mo sa pagbasa sa plano which is katong um, kabantay mo sa iyang book di ba na ay sa top ay na mo nang tawag na horizontal alignment which is na discuss na Next topic, I think. Mag-discuss na dyan. Mag-inahinay yung tag-discuss yung signing. Ang tawag na is horizontal alignment. That horizontal alignment, makita na to kung that area sa left or sa right na by cut section or ka nang gikab ka ba, gi-excavate ba ang ita. Or diya saan makita kung embankment sa ta, if tambak ba ang ato ang kuhaan buhaton. Diya saan makita ang structure na itong ginagamit. Kung RCPC ba, or box culvert, or nabatay mga stone masonry, mga slope protection. So, in general, ang tawag yun, Ana, is plan and profile. Oo, oh, ang tawag, Ana, no? Di ba, upat akong ingon? Nasa to katong present ni uh, Miss Nicole, atong, um, katong, gihat daw na to makita ang mga standard drawing sa pipe culvert, sa concrete box culvert, I think sa, kung sa, 
kung makita nyo ang book ni Fargo, I think 12 ang giingon ani na mga structure. So, ang tawag sa na na in general, muna ang tawag na typical drawing section and summary of quantities. So, di ha na to makita ang typical section sa roadway. Di bali, magbasi ta diha sa tong cross section which is one of the parts sa plano. So, tulong na akong naingon no. Si typical roadway section which is eh, ang makita ninyo ana is ang uh, um, structure na ipanggamit typical section sa structure sa RCPC, sa RCBC, um, sa mga curb and gutter o mga guardrail, di niyo makitaan. Makitaan. Di asa niyo makitaan kung sa typical roadway section, dito ta mag-base sa iyang cross section. Kung unsay mga structures na ipanggamit sa atong cross section. Na ko ipakita na plano ana para ma-visualize gyud ninyo no para dili um kuan para dili mo maglibog kung sa tuig kung minimum uyo ko bolo ato ko bolo sa tanga uyo so ang last din is the general drawing sakto man tayo ni paningon specific lang kay mo sa so the plan but ako is ang parts or the main parts sa plan ang pinaka first good is the general drawing which is makita niyo diha ang site dev or asa ba ang project asa gid na locate ang project on say uh, mga uh, bigat diya na makitaan ang mga pavement mga general notes kada nakita ni um ni Kendra I think doon nga nako ano mura naka search up plano kung say na dito ako i share ha para mas ma visualize ninyo kung on say sulod sa plano kay halos um nami na kon dito ga OGT wala bi siya kabalo kung on say sulod sa plano sa highway so gusto na ako na aware mo kung sa gusto ba ito mga plano nyo para makabalong. Na mo itubag sa iyong puhon. Basta na yung interview mo din. Wala mo kabalong sa iyo sa iyong plano nyo. So first, get mo yung cover page. Kung nagita na tayo cover page. Then, kanil siya ha na mga margins ani na yung mga department orders ang kuan. Dili na siya basta-basta na ng margin with one inch or ikilaw, inana ba? Ano siya yung mga DO so, sa Department of Public Works and Highway. Kung sa standard na mga spacing, margins, um, font style or font size ang panggamit na to. So first, muna ang, kuan, ang kuan cover page. Higit mo wala si table of contents. So muna yung upat na akong pasabot. The general drawing, the plan and profile, the road typical sections and details, at ilang kondisi sana, and also the cross section which is very important so sa um, general drawings so muna a uh, general drawings niya niyo makit and see site dev uh, yung region map kung asa siya sa kagayan ba siya na kuan kagayan ba siya na bilong sa bukid nun bang project so diha sa so, vicinity map diyan niyo makit ano but mas makaroon niyo din niya sa site dev may tawag na site dev Diyan yung makitaan ang beginning sa project. Unsa ay unsa yung mga coordinates. Kung gusto nyo ikuan sa Google Earth, diyan yung makitaan. Okay, pag layout ay na-actual, need man na o coordinates. So, masyada good if kabalod ka punta mo gamit sa ito ang instrumento na total station or RTP. Okay, hindi ta kabalo, hindi ta kabalo. So, on pag layout sa ito ang project. So, general notes na hindi na ako yung son, kaya marang wapitan tagpuan. Kumula siya. Ako lang ginaran through pakita sa inyo ako sa iyo sulod sa plano. At least, nakita mo no. So, next is the money. Nakita ang kang pardo. Di ba kamantay mo? Ano yung money sa mga billboards kung na-project? O, money yung makita. Ito na sa general drawings. So, sunod is the plan and profile. Money yung kang pardo na book di lang kayo makaroon, no? So, di ano, makita ang vertical or horizontal alignment na diha ang mga structure, um, nasa diha ang kuan, um, mm, ang mga elements of curve, where I think, asa na butang elements of curve, ano? Asa na elements of curve, ay na? Asa diha kung uh, mga structure, kung tala itong mga kuan, makita nyo mga BCC, ECC, makasabot na mo puhon uh, mag-start pa sa next week kay designing naman next week. So, boss, di ba, kita mo mga super elevation? O, oh, nana siya, diha. 
na naipulos. Oh my God, ako na ko ayun. Naipulos na siya. Matakal din na ang ano, importante si super elevation. Matakal na sa report. So, sunod is the typical roadway section and details sa or summary of quantities. So, di ha, katang iinga ni Miss um, Nicole na gadaw na ito makita ng RCPC, ang RCPC, ang guardrails. Sakto tayo, hindi nga naman. Uh, mula siya, typical roadway na ito, gibali, sa perception na siya nakuha. Kung sa daw itong gamit, inani. May existing pavement. Kani siya, um, uh, daraw detail sa line, um, RCLC or the Reinforced Line Canal. Muna kata yung pasabot ni Miss Nicole, no? Na lang mga line canal daw, mga curb and gutter, kanina siya. Nasa'y wala, wala yung RCBC na nakabutang dani. Depende mo sa project, guys. Kung say project, kung inyuhang project na ay RCBC na structure sa inyong section, mo reflect din sa inyong typical. Kanina kayo wala RCLC ra ang lakon o curb and gutter. So, mo sa'y i-reflect sa plan, no? Ili man sa kung tanan dusi ka buok ang iyang gipuandid to kayo i-reflect sa plano. Kung say naa sa cross-section o kung say gigamit ninyo as structure, musay mo ka-reflect sa plano. So musa na yung quantities na to, Which is si quantities, magbasi na siya sa ato ang cross-section. Musa si cross-section, importante kaya siya na to mabawan. So ang kaupat na na parts din sa plano si cross-section. I think kung Nitaduan mo ug kuan sa section, muna siya ang section. Kani kay patag lagi ni guys ah. Mangita ko po eh, next meeting ug kanang bukid para ma-appreciate din niyo. Kani kay sting na magyang dalan, para gi widen no mas ni siya. Muna siya si section. So, di ba yang structure ra ka RCLC o curb and gutter. Mura sa to yang gibutang sa yang typical. Musa, yang typical dito, wala man siya RCPC or RCBC. Sayang sang ko at um sayang sang typical wala sang CRC RCBC RCPs so wala man siyang perception oh nadali ni si curb and gutter kan din ni oh si curb and gutter so kani sad siya ma discuss ni sang classmate ma uh, discuss niya na pila by standard ang sa carriageway ang carriageway mo nang tawag tong dalan sa shoulder ang sa sa standard so mga offset di ba kita mo sa area cut and fill din ni na ko an label O, muna na siya ang gamitin sa itong quantities sa earthworks. So, need yun na ito, no? Mabawaan. So, muna siya. Muna na siya, guys, ang part sa kwan. Part sa ato ang um, road plan. No, at least kita mo kung say, part sa road plan. So, katong kuan ni Shing Pangutan na daw nga do, do, magtakas yes, na po. Uba si, ano, CDP. Asa ni Malakit and Shin na nagbuba? Katong sa lapasan, usually kakahitago na siya mo. Kanang, kanang gina, kamulog construct diya na kuan? Ay, di di ma'am. Katong before pa, before siya na siya mga dalag. Like, mga junior high days, ma'am. Ma Ay, malate man. Traffic kayo tungod, anak ma'am. So, um, if along with sa, ano, kanang BCIR na to, na kabalo mo sa ng BCIR kanang gawa sa USDP BCIR na siya mga national roadway na nato na no diha na mga kuan dili man gyud um para mas makasabot mo if barangay road na siya ang um, implement si barangay dili si DP ah. if um if national road tapos ang budget sa national road is 100m above makita na ninyo sa katong um sa to katong billboard di ba if makita mo di ba na amount dad to if 100 m above na si region ang mag implement na DP kasi if 50 m below or 100 m below si district kasi si DPWH na na siya ko ano na siya mga lain na kan category na district offices na siya kanang kuan regional offices ang yang kuan so kami ako bilang ko bil sa region kataas ko sa bulwa no so if nagi ina na, na instances na ma um, guba ang dalan wala um, ang kuan na is investigate pagid na kay wata ka balo na oy okay pad okay 
okay diba mana gangguan simple pamanang dalan dai guba mana okay ra na sa top pero ang ilalom ana daghan na sa mga crackings dia or kanang na anay something na hitabo na um sito ana na hitabo na um scouring labi na si contractor wala gitarong og kanang kuan kanang kison ang sub base nato diyan na mag start dayon so ang tao sige lang ingon na ko ay nasa kabalo ang ilalom de adto is guba na or that ko ay road project or that road kay gilampas na sa iyang lifespan something kay i think ako i double check lang kung 10 years ba to sa sa ano horizontal or 5 years ako sa i double check kung pila to ka years so inana siya dili lang siya totally na may uy, okay pa man siya bike wala may crack sa sa top pero na ato sa ilalom. Dili di ba di ang gaka halos gakafila na isang driver. Labi na sa kung magkuan mo padulong sa ibigan, dagan kay kuan dadto sa ilang tela mo ka mo, mo if driver if driver ka. Tela mo ko kung observant ka. Tela mo kay murag mo kalit na mo ubos ba to sa kabalik. Dagan kay diya diya kay tungod sa kanang earthquake na may tabo sa ilalom. Di ba kabantay mo adtong sa FB man basic katong na na ay foam na ibinabutang sa ilalom para makuhan kay nag na dito nawala nang kuan ba tungod sa sub base wala na taro muto siya ang ginabutang nasa na ang DT pero um, wala pa ko kita sa pag-implement pero na inad to sila na kuan na technology na katong foam nang inject sa ilalom para mubalik ang kuan sa um, sa road so nanay rason han nga no giguba pero if makabalogay mo na, uy, bago pa magkain na, bay, wala takabalo. Dili, dili si DP ang sala, guys. Ang inyong basing, inyong basing politician nga, nung hindi hagibot ang project, kabalo sila na, ano, kami dyan taga, uh, dili na ako siya, i-defend ng taga Department of Public Health and Highways, kay taga DP ko, but ako lang may maingon, igo kami ba, kung, kung sa mga proposal na project. Uh, as um, the reporter said, um, Kusgan kay si politician, no? Na, kung kusgan si politician, kaya siya mag-fund sa project, um, mag-ask, ay, wala mi, nagyumi ko ang anak, basta ko an, pero, so far, sa amu anak, sa ako asa, kung na-experience, um, ko an, if maka, maka-propose kay si politician sa amu anak, na, tapos okay pa ang ko an, ang dalan, mukuan din mi na, um, sir, or kong, or kinsa ba, na okay pag hindi siya bawal niya siya sir kaya according to kung ano mo sa law or sa regulation sa sa DP DPWH kay hindi pa niya pa dihilab dan sir kay one year para biya ni na anak hindi pa niya pa dihilab dan sir kay one year para biya ni na anak hindi pa niya pa dihilab dan sir kay one year para biya ni so mangita nila in kung asa kabut ngan ang project which is sa si politician man sa makasabut sa siya sa amu ang reason kaya gasunod man ni sa mong sasa sa standard hindi po sure sa uban ha sa barangay sa or sa ko andili ko sure nila ana but sa amo as sa main office sa region sa ako na bawan gasunod ni sa standard if mo if na ami ginaguba na ko ana na siya reason if magreblocking ni na na siya reason ngano siya giguba dili siya basta-basta og dili dili si DP said ang ga gabuot kung asa ibutang ang project no Igo rami mo design og mo implement no ang mga politician ang kwan kong sila ang gafad sa project kay labi na congressman lugar si, for example din si Kong Rufus lugar sa kan district man siya so siya nagpakwan ang mga standing chair nato katong tong i think katong katong trivia katong si Dio Coastal tong Perth Perth to Gusa kato siya na coastal road guys tama to sa Perth to So, mas um, ginakuan kay traffic man dyan na area, no? Amo nang gina-divert, di, uh, gina-divert, gusan na tayo, di, uh, construction of bypass and diversion road, no? Mga inana ng mga project. So, si Kong, nagkuan siya dyan sa, um, is, nasa Eastern Interior na ito, kanil sa Galaxy, no? If makita na ninyo, hapit, 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 na na moman. Diba, padulong nga po na sa Puerto. Kanan, kuan na, padulong sa Puerto, kay para, ang itong mga dagot na sakyanan, dili na kayo mo agad sa BCIR, no? Na nasa lay, um, own, 
dala niya na po sa mga diversion road na to. Nag, na, di na siya basta nagikuan. Nag, nag FS pag yun na. Istadihan pag yun nag-ayo. Then, gipresent dahil yun sa kuan. Yun sa to nagpa-fun at to nagpa-jet. So, ako ay klaro ha. Dili si Vicky ang gabuot mo asa. Ibutang ang project. So, kato siya. Sa itong gataka-taka, basig ko ang ambot. Pinsa itong nagtaka-taka. <laughs> so, ano? Pero, basig ka nang wala mo kabalo na that area di ay kay nanay ko sa ilalong. O sa siya um, biguba. Nana siya. So, wala na yung panguta na. So, okay ba, ano? Si na nga itong akong tubag? Yes, ma'am. Nakasa, ano na, ma'am? Okay. Oh. Abi na ko, corruption na gid na, ma'am, bay. <laughs> Ang boot ng gid sa eh, sa kuan, sa politician. Okay, so, no? katong mga guba, ma'am, kay guba, agihapon nang to doon, ma'am. <laughs> uh, dili si kuan, ano, depende sa, ano, o sa'yo, makakasyan ng gapon ni, ano, di, di, ano, sayang kahit na area na dili siya ma-funds. Dili, ma'am, gid ni, ang gafund, si ano mangit politician ko nga sayang kuan if hinay si politician na kuan uh, gid ang, ang district hinay sad ang um, infrastructure project pero kung kusgan ni kung kusgan si politician like ni Ropus na dagan gid siya ginawa na project so chada ang city chada ang district depende gina dili si DP ang gabot na oy dia na ko ibutang nga dia na mo ibutang nga igo lang si DP mag uh, magimo plano og mo uh, mukaan sa implementation og dili man sa kuno na wala gi corrupt na man ni everywhere na gi corruption dili lang man sa DP dili ra sa sa DEP ed dili sa sa kung um, sa other government agencies guys nagna tanan kung mag work na mo diya ninyo makita tanan kita sa dunti man ta sumuno iba wala ng corrupt pero usay ma na tay masabtan na tay makuan na bitaw no ano kuan man na wala gi fund wala gifan ni siya na area na guba-guba na dito nun siya gifan sa mm, sa dilugba. Amang gabi may nana instances guys. Nangita o okay, nag-dis para makakarta po yung si Juan. Wow. <laughs> Tana all, contractor day kasi. <laughs> Thank you ma'am. Thank you sa answer ma'am. Contractor ba yung si Kim no? Sildo reveal ah uh, basta secret. Secret ang kong sildo. Eh, eh my god. Secret lang. Basta kuan nga po. Ay dili um kung mayon mo na dili gamay ngalan sa government eh, kay kuan man na. Igo uli alas 5 na guys dili na dili gina tinod na muli. Yes ma'am. Ko. Ha? Asa ti question? Napa ti question? Six figures daw ang imong sildo ma'am. Mag-aabi sila yung six figures, guys. My God, bilig na six figures. Ikaw lang pag-aabi mong sildo. 